Uh, I'm Roger Perry, and I wrote the report for Jeremy Hunt when he was in opposition about possible solutions to the difficulties of providing local news. Okay. Um, Professor Robert Picard said earlier that the way for newspapers to survive um, is to become more niche and take away this free-for-all aspect. Um, what's your comment on that? Uh, well, I wasn't here to hear that particular session, but I think that, broadly speaking, the more niche a medium is, the more likely it is to thrive. And you can either define niche by geography, or you can define niche by commonality of interests. And all of the evidence today is that if you pick on a very narrowly defined community and super serve it, you're more likely to have a very strong relationship with the audience. Right. And do you feel that the technology advances um, can save or hinder the state of journalism today? Um, I personally think that the technology advances will make journalism, if you talk about the term journalism, yeah. significantly better. I think that the, the incredibly low cost of digital uh, content creation really helps people do better work. Okay. Um, just very quickly, for the benefit of our viewers, um, I mean, with such rapidly changing media environment, um, what do you see for the future of journalists? Um, or media employees? Well, I think media employees will have to become much more versatile. They can't just think of themselves as a print journalist or a TV journalist or a radio journalist. They're going to have to think about themselves knowing and really understanding how media works and working with unpaid volunteers. I think there'll be a lot more in the future of the professional journalist working with members of a community uh, to produce uh, good output. Okay. Um, and finally, you mentioned the local TV station in Ontario, Canada. Um, can you briefly explain that, and um, is it a viable idea for the UK? Well, the one I looked at, what happened, I mean, most Canadian uh, towns and cities do support a local TV station, and the way they work is exactly as I've just described. They are a cooperation between some professional um, journalists and between members of the local community. I think it's a completely viable uh, idea for the UK. It's simply that historically we've never been allowed to do it because spectrum has been allocated at a regional and national level. If we start to allocate spectrum at a local level, which in effect, by the way, high-speed broadband does, then you can start to experience this type of, of journalism. Okay, and just very quickly, so what do you think is the future for local news? Is the what, sorry? Uh, the future for local news, what do you think? Um, I think that historically it's been provided by a printed local newspaper on a daily or weekly basis. I think in the future it's going to be provided by a group of people who will manifest it on a website with a broadcast signal and with some print products. And it'll be much more involving community volunteers. It won't be just done by professionals. Thank you very much.